Hi there guys and welcome to this week's episode of Toolbox TV. If you are one of the members who hasn't yet gotten around to looking at the uh, this month's member only webinar replay or if you didn't attend the webinar um, then I'd advise you to go and have a look in the member area and have a listen to the replay of last week's webinar. There were some really interesting questions on there and some interesting insights into what I'm planning to do um, going forward with the um, membership site and my electrician's toolbox. Um, this week I've been following a thread on a Facebook group that I'm a member of and it goes right back to the core of the type of thing that we teach inside the toolbox and it's about pricing. There was a, or there is, the thread's still live, it's still running, um, there is a, an electrician in there querying how he can actually charge enough to earn a living and he seems to be stuck in this rut or stuck in this belief that he needs to compete with all the other trades in his area or all the other electricians in his area and I think as you guys know and hopefully you know and hopefully this will sort of help to bring it home to you that's not your starting point your starting point should not be what is everybody else charging locally so that you can actually match that price or try and better that price because quite honestly, if you start doing that, as you've heard me say time and time again, you enter into a race to the bottom and somebody's got to win that and it's going to be the person who keeps dropping and dropping and dropping their price. My strategy is, and what I advise you guys to do, is to position yourselves better so that you can actually command the prices that you need. But before all of that, you need to actually work out, and we've, we've done previous uh, Toolbox TVs on this, but you need to work out what it is you want out of your business and then work forward to discover how you actually get to that. So in other words, if you want to take uh, eight, 80,000 out of your business this year, then you need to work out what that means in respect of month by month, week by week, day by day, hour by hour. And that's how you work out your strategy. That's how you work out your, your pricing structure. What you don't do is come into the marketplace, look around and see what everybody else is charging and then say, well, if I'm going to work, I'm going to work at those rates because that way you will fail. That way you end up charging what everybody else is charging or less to try and compete and get to work. And then, as I said, somebody has to lose that race. Somebody comes out the loser. In fact, everybody comes out the loser. Nobody can sustain a business operating like that and constantly trying to compete on price. So what I say is set your price, work out what you believe you're worth, own that space, own that, that area, keep that as yours and don't shift on it. When people say, oh, but surely you can do it for less. No, I'm sorry, I can't. This is what my price is. This is what I am worth. And you seek out and you fish far, as I say, you fish in ponds where there are people who are prepared to pay the price that you have set. And then those people who aren't prepared to pay, they're just not your customer. You know, and part of our own problem is that we get into our own way and we believe that everybody has to be our customer and we don't like to turn away at work. We're afraid that if we turn away at work or if we don't negotiate on price, then we're never going to work again. And that's just completely wrong. What actually happens is if you start to negotiate on price, you become known as the guy who will negotiate on price. So then every time you put your, uh, your quote in, every time that you uh, go and talk to a client, they'll, they'll begin to recognize you as the person who they can barter with, who they can haggle with. And of course, the price you say first isn't the price that you mean. And that's the wrong approach. And unfortunately, it's prevalent in the trades. Unfortunately, there's a lot of trades who operate like that. They'll go in and because they've being known for negotiating on price because they're known for bartering they'll go in and they'll put their price in at for example three thousand knowing that they're going to do it for two thousand um, and they're expecting that barter and that haggle i don't believe in playing that game i believe in setting the price that you are worth i believe that you set your price and if your price is three thousand pounds then that is your price if the customer comes back to you and asks you to haggle on price, you've got to stand firm. You've got to. Because if they want you to do the work, they will pay that fee. And if they want you to shift on the fee, then the simple answer back to the customer is, so what would you like me to leave out? If you want, what, if you want me to drop it to £2,000, well, what £1,000 of work do you not want me to do? 
because I have given you an honest price based on my time, based on the materials that I'm going to use. So therefore, that's what I believe the job. I didn't come here to negotiate. I didn't come here to barter or to try and rip you off in the hope that you would pay me £3,000 for a job that's worth 2000 If I say it's worth 3000 it, it, it's worth 3000 And if you don't think it is, then you know, you're know you more than welcome to go out there and try and find people who will do it for less. And of course, the bad ones will. But the ones who recognise that you offer a quality service, the ones that know that you stand by what you do. And, and that, that again is part of the key. You have to, you have to offer a service that goes above and beyond. You have to build that reputation. You have to be known as the guy who, when you say it's £3,000, it's £3,000 and they get £3,000 worth of work. Not, oh, I'll negotiate, I'll go down to £2,000 just to win the job. But then number one, I'm going to lose. I'm going to feel unhappy about doing the work. Number two, I may end up cutting corners because I haven't allowed enough to, to make any kind of profit out of the job. So I've got to cut here and there just to make it right. And that's not right because you, you end up doing shoddy work. And, and that's not good. That's not good for you. It's not good for the customer. So my message is get comfortable in your price. Everybody's going to have a different price point. Everybody. But price at what you believe you are worth, not what's going on in the marketplace in your local area. There will always be competition. There will always be people who will charge less. That's not your market. That's not where you're going with your business. What you need to do, and I can't stress this enough, set your price, the price you want, the price you believe, and the price you are comfortable with in your head. Then go looking for people who will pay that price. Don't do it the other way. Don't go out into the marketplace and start thinking, what's everybody else charging? Oh, I'll fit in with that. And then at the end of the month, find that you haven't covered enough even to put the diesel in your vehicle. So my toolbox tip for you this week is to really think about your worth. Then price yourself accordingly and go and find those customers. So until the next time, continue to learn and grow, and I'll see you in the next video.